a game by 3D Realms and Interceptor running on the Unreal Engine. This is Bombshell. Bombshell is a 360 degrees top-down shooter with a decent main protagonist and storyline. The story focuses on a female bomb defusal veteran, Shell, who lost her arm and squad when a bomb exploded. In my opinion, I found the story hard to follow as it doesn't really tell you why you were there or what has happened in the past, but I found myself shooting aliens around and inside the White House, so that's always kind of cool. I felt uh, a little thrown in and I feel like I had to figure things out for myself, especially with the tutorials, um, as they don't really tell you what buttons to press, press until later on in the game, which kind of sucks. Uh, the gameplay was fun and interesting though, and it was enough to keep my attention when the story didn't. I'm not really a huge fan of these types of games, nor am I any good at them, but the main character kept the game going as she was fairly interesting and a bit of a badass with an arm that can transform into many guns. The graphics were good for this type of game as the graphics and lighting effects really brought out the art direction environments with rain and wind and such like that. From being in the White House to then getting teleported to the alien homeworld was a pretty big change in maps and it was quite interesting and enjoyable. My gameplay is also taken from me playing at high graphics, uh, which it ran really well considering that my graphics card is under the recommended specs on the Steam description, so I'm pretty impressed with that. So as for tearing through a bunch of aliens trying to kill me, I did feel a decent sense of progression. You gain XP and currency for kills, ammo and health pickups were plentiful, and I encountered a, very, a few different enemy types in my playthrough. The level design was fairly straightforward, and Shell had a few abilities I got to try out, such as a dash and a super punch. You can execute enemies as well by bringing them close to death and interacting with them in a down state. The animations for the executions were pretty cool, but I did feel as though they were a little too long and they took you out of the game a bit too often, as most enemies kept getting into that down state and the game kept telling you to execute. The game reminded me of Doom in a way, but with the gameplay of many great indie games, such like Halo Spartan Assault with a demonic slash alien twist. There is an upgrade menu and a skill tree kind of system in the game, as well as a weapon upgrade system, which was a nice touch. And as I upgraded using my currency and XP, I felt as though the weapons were allowing me to get stronger and deal more damage, which helped when fighting new enemy types and multiple foes at once. The main thing I didn't like about the upgrading was the screen presented to you while doing so. It was hard to tell what was what and had very little description, which made me feel a little confused and uh, at times overwhelmed. So overall, I would recommend this game if you like top-down shooters. I feel like the game would totally give you enjoyment and your money's worth. If you can manage to play on the highest graphical settings, that's also a great an added bonus. I'm sure it'd be even prettier and run even smoother than it did for me. And I thought it was pretty great on my current settings. The story is new and something quite different, which is welcoming, especially with a pretty cool female protagonist. I feel as though you don't get those a lot and uh, the enemies were pretty interesting as well. The gameplay is fast paced with good progression to keep people interested, which is always a good thing. Uh, just a bit of a shame about those menus for upgrades. Go out and buy Bombshell if you want a new experience. And I praise the developers for making a fun and fluid top-down shooter because I feel like you don't see enough of those these days. Not with the amount of effort and creativity that's gone into a game such as this. Come on, you motherfuckers.